better now. This is pretty awesome, man. These They've guys been are fired up. all morning for yeah, you. Yeah, they're fired up, man. It's all right. All right, let's talk a little racing. You have five career wins. What is it going to take to get the 88 Diet Mountain Dew Chevy to victory lane again today? Well, you're just going to have to run hard all day. Just try to go up front, try to lead every lap. That's the kind of mentality you need to have. And uh, we'll just have to work the draft and try to make some good moves and uh, just have to work hard all day. It's a lot harder to stay up front than it used to be with the way the draft works, so you just got to work a lot harder. All right, now we got these posters we're giving out to everybody here, and you're on it. You're in the chase. You're locked right. in. There we go. Now, during these chase races, when you're out there racing, do you focus only on yourself, on the 11 other chase drivers, or everybody else on the track? I'm just trying to get the best finish I can for myself. Can't really worry about what everybody else is doing. Just got to think about your job, what you're trying to accomplish, and uh, what's happening to you. You know, you really can't control anything else but uh, what you're doing and what your car is doing so you just drive your car all right well you're seventh in points right now do you feel like there's maybe one or two drivers that are your biggest competition well i know what my teammates uh got as far as equipment so they're those guys i know they're gonna be pretty tough so we're just uh you know you don't really know what the rest of the shops are like uh, as far as the two car the 11 car but they're running good, they're running strong, and uh, you just don't know whether they'll be able to keep it up. How cool is it that your job is to drive fast for a living? Yeah, I mean, I I never uh, got into driving race cars to get paid. I didn't think they'd pay me to do it, but um, it's turned out all right. But I, I just, uh, I enjoy, sure. <laughs> I just enjoy the competition and uh, when, you know, just enjoy being out there uh, racing against everybody else and having fun. It seems, it seems like you're having a lot of fun this year on the track. What's different? Well, we're running better. Everything's uh, a lot funner when you're running better. We're, uh, you know, we got a good team. Uh, our, guys, our, guys, our guys are a good group and we got a great crew chief, and uh, we're just really gelling well and uh, looking for uh, a lot of good things in the future. Well, besides being such a talented driver, you also have your wonderful foundation. Tell us about the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Foundation. Yeah, our foundation uh, has been going for a while. It's something me and my sister Kelly started, and we work really hard on it. We're all uh, there's, you know, we're involved in things throughout the year. Uh, mainly, uh, we're working with groups involving uh, children and, and young adults, and. Uh, we've got our foundation event coming up this week in Charlotte uh, where we're, we do a lot of ride-arounds and uh, auction those off. And then we're, we have a concert later in, the, later in the year, about a month from now, and uh, we'll do an auction and raise, we'll raise somewhere around three hundred dollars to $500,000 each year. Wow, very cool. Yeah. Are any of you guys Washington Redskins fans out there? Now, you've been a fan since the 80s. Why are they your team? What, what, what is special about them? Well, in the 80s, it was the Atlanta Falcons or the Redskins if you lived in North Carolina. So there wasn't a team in, in North Carolina. And uh, I, my mom lived in Norfolk, so I was up there all the time. And that's all you saw up there was Redskins stuff. So that's just a team I ended up choosing. You guys follow Dale Earnhardt Jr. on Facebook, right? Well, I saw a very big animal that you uh, kind of... Went hunting this week, yeah. right? Yeah, I did. Uh, went to Colorado. My brother Kerry uh, is starting a, he's trying to start a, a hunting show. And so I was going to go out there and or go hunting with him a couple times to help him get his show off the ground. And uh, I'd never been elk hunting at all. So we took, uh, I took my bow up to Colorado and met my brother up there. And uh, we started hunting at six o'clock Monday morning. And I had a bull on the ground by nine. And it was a lot of fun. I that got didn't a, take long. No, it didn't. We um, we quartered it and 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 skinned it right there where we shot it and and put it in a couple fish coolers and took it home, took it to the processor, and so we'll have a lot of elk meat to eat and gonna get it mounted and put it in the house. Very cool. We all know you like hunting, four wheeling, being outside. 
The off season's coming up. Do you have anything planned yet? No, not really. Uh, you know, we're just concentrating on what we're doing right now. <laughs> we're just concentrating on our job, and we got a few more races to go before we can start thinking far, you know, that far ahead. But we have Christmas parties for Hendrick and, and Jarrah Motorsports in the middle of December, and then we'll have, you know, we need to be home for Christmas and, and uh, New Year's, so we probably won't be taking any trips or anything, but... Maybe I gotta go hunting some more with my brother to help him with his show. I think we're gonna go whitetail hunting somewhere. So, and I might uh, hook up with Hank Parker Jr. Go hunting with him one time. Very cool. All right, time for our quick ten. Ten quick questions. Right. You gotta tell me what's first on your mind. Okay. What is the last movie that you watched? The last movie that I watched. Um, we rented Flash Gordon, the old movie from the '80s. For some reason, we had to watch that. I remember watching that when I was younger. All right, what is your favorite racetrack to, tra to race on? Talladega. <laughs> Where is your favorite vacation spot? Uh, anywhere, anywhere south where it's warm, anywhere south. What is one thing you miss about being a kid? Um, eating all the candy you wanted. What is your favorite thing to do after a long day? Get down and go down to the basement and drink a bunch of beer. That's about all I want to do after. That's what I'll be doing tonight. You have, <laughs> you have quite the car collection at home, but what is your favorite car in your entire collection? Uh, probably 73 Camaro. I like Camaros, old Camaros. All right, do you prefer to eat out or eat at home? It depends. It's hard to beat a good steak uh, that I can grill on my grill, so uh, probably eating at home. Steak and potatoes kind of guy? Steak and whatever. I, I, I just, the steak's important. All right, where's your favorite place to go hunting? I really don't have a favorite. You know, I've had good luck pretty much everywhere I've been, but everybody tells me Kansas is pretty good. But I've, I've, I ain't missed one yet, so uh, but we're, uh, I'm looking forward to the next opportunity. All right. How do you pass the time when you're on your plane uh, coming to the track and home? Uh... I, I know play. You don't tweet. No, I don't. I uh, well, you can't. I don't have Wi-Fi on my plane, but uh, I play. Uh, we play a lot of card games. Card games. Yeah. Okay. And then, last but not least, what is your favorite band of all time? <laughs> of all time. Oh man, probably um, the Bellamy Brothers. A lot of people be surprised to know that. All right. Well, we all wish you good luck today. Let's hear it for Mr. Dale right. Earnhardt Jr. Thank you guys. Take it easy. Hope y'all enjoy the race. Thanks for coming out.